Mr. Shapiro, you've worked on Iran-related issues throughout this administration. You were on the team headed by Rob Malley, and you're now at the Defense Department. Meanwhile, the Biden administration has allowed the Iranian regime to build up a ghost fleet of tankers, which are third country flagged tankers. That fleet grew from about 70 vessels at the beginning of the administration to almost 400 tankers today. The Iranian regime used that ghost fleet to ship over a billion barrels of oil and to make unaccountable tens, if not hundreds of billions of dollars. When Joe Biden came into power, Iran was selling roughly 300,000 barrels of oil a day. Today, due to the Biden administration's appeasement of Iran, Iran is selling roughly 2 million barrels of oil a day. Those billions of dollars went directly to fund terrorism. They went to the Houthis, they went to Hamas, they went to Hezbollah. They pay for the Houthis terrorists, terrorism and for their weapons. They paid for the October 7th atrocities in Israel. The Biden administration refused to meaningfully enforce our sanctions and we're seeing the consequences with war in the Middle East. In your judgment, how is the Biden administration's appeasement of Iran and refusal to enforce sanctions against Iran, how has that worked out for the safety and security of Israel and the safety and security of America? Thank you, Senator. Uh, a number of the questions you raise about sanctions enforcement uh, are the province of the Treasury Department, uh, and I simply, on behalf of the Defense Department, will have to defer to my colleagues there. Uh, I will tell you that uh, the subject of the hearing focuses on how we are responding to this particular threat of an Iranian-sponsored and backed organization, uh, the Houthi. Uh, before you arrived, you also spoke a bit about uh, the U.S. response to other uh, Iranian proxies. Okay, I, I had a question. How is this working out for the safety and security of Israel and the safety and security of America? You're not answering that question. The, 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 the answer I can provide is that we are making very clear to Iran through our posture in the region, uh, through the assistance we provide to our partners, including Israel, uh, in its need to defend itself, uh, to our own responses when Iran and ir Iranian-backed uh, organizations have uh, uh, targeted our uh, personnel uh, and, and uh, tragically have killed three of our personnel, uh, and in their sponsorship of the Houthi uh, uh, military strikes against uh, free uh, shipping in the Red Sea, that we will respond. And Iran with all with all respect, respond. that's baloney. And, and and the Ayatollah has heard the message. Let me ask you: How many ghost ghost fleet vessels? Did the Biden administration sanction before October 7th? Uh, again, uh, sanctions matters belong to the Treasury Department, so I don't Do you know, know the answer. I don't know the answer and would have to defer to the Tr Department of and, Treasury. And, and is the Biden administration concerned about the billions of dollars they continue to flow to the Ayatollah today? Right now, today, that money is flowing to the Ayatollah because there are 400 ships in the ghost fleet that this administration won't sanction. The Ayatollah is selling much of that oil to communist China. It, the revenue is being used to fund Hamas, to fund Hezbollah, to fund the Houthis. And the Biden administration's response is, well, we made very clear there will be consequences. Baloney, cut off the money. Why will the Biden administration not cut off the money from Iran? Senator, I, I really have to... Uh, re stay in the lane of the Department of Defense. Uh, what we have made very clear. D did you work with Rob Miley and his task force? I, I, I worked for a few months as an advisor to uh, uh, then Special Envoy Malley, yes. And, and you were ambassador to Israel. You have long experience in the region. I find it impossible that you have no views <laughs> on the hundred billion dollars plus that Joe Biden has gifted to the Ayatollah that has been used to murder Americans and murder Israelis. I'm asking you, isn't it time to cut off the money? On behalf of the Defense Department, what I can say is that when we see Iran, which we do see uh, on a daily and regular basis, uh, supporting terrorism, uh, providing weapons, uh, providing intelligence, providing sponsorship and training to terrorist organizations, we make very clear to Iran uh, that but not only But you don't make clear. If they continue to have the money, you're not making it clear. If you say, here's $100 billion, but you know what? We're going to send you a stern letter. 
Well, that, though, that $100 billion is being used to fund weapons. Let me ask you, all right, and it's not just Iran, by the way, the Houthis. Listen, the Trump administration rightly designated the Houthis as a foreign terrorist organization. Within a month of taking office, what did the Biden administration do? Delisted the Houthis. Now, finally, last month, the Biden administration was forced to relist the Houthis and to designate them especially designated, as a specially designated global terrorist group. How did it work out delisting the Houthis for three years? Did, did they behave just quietly or did they continue to be the terrorists they've been the whole time, even while the administration was trying to appease them? Some of, some of this is a, a special envoy, Len King's province. Uh, what we have done, uh, as the Houthis have uh, demonstrated uh, through their actions uh, that they are behaving as a terrorist organization, is not only that designation, uh, but also uh, the defensive uh, operation of Oper Operation Prosperity so, Guardian. So prior to January of this year, they weren't behaving as terrorists? They were testimony? not shooting at ships in the Red Sea. Until were, were they terrorists until last, year? last year? Were the Houthis terrorists last year? Uh, they were designated as of uh, as a, a designation that took. Uh, a I'm asking you: is is it DOD's view? Were the Houthis terrorist in 2023? Yes or no? They were a designated terrorist organization as of a few days ago, on, when it took uh, office on February. And, and and your delisting them was indefensible, and it's proven catastrophic. 